Hi, my name is Inat, and today we're going to do a little bit of a yoga flow which incorporates mobility as well to aid with our splits. So front splits as well as side splits. So we'll move in a specific way, breath to movement, which will really help you along your journey and during these times when we might feel that we're stuck at home a little bit more. So what you'll need is a mat or some carpet or just a little bit of space. You can even do this outside and two yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can also use books or any other structure that's a little bit higher and you probably only need them if you have tight hamstrings. So let's come down into a little kneel to start. So kneeling down and just let your hands land down on your lap. We'll start by finding your sit bones and find a really long spine. So getting long from the tail to the crown. And get little, uh, let your eyes just gently close down. And take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and just let it out so that you arrive in your space. Take a breath in. And a full breath out. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale. And allow your breath to come in and out through the nose. And what makes yoga a little bit different to other types of movement and other modalities is it's this connection of breath which combines our body and our mind and our spirit together. So we have to release the ego or that need to be competitive and just allow our bodies to feel. And we take time and patience to let everything just unfold as it is on any given moment or any given day. Take one more breath in. Full breath out. Bring your hands to prayer, Anjali Mudra or Namaste, where they'll place into your heartbeat, bow your head to your heart, just acknowledging your practice and this time that you're going to give to yourself. Gently blink open your eyes and make your way into a tabletop position, stacking your shoulders directly over your wrists and your knees directly under your hips. From here, little shoulder circles around the wrist crease, going three in one direction, pressing down through your fingertips like you're trying to claw onto some prey, a bit of an eagle, and then three circles the other way. When you're ready, turn your fingertips to the outer edge of your mat, a gentle sway side to side. Turn your fingertips towards your knees. Take an inhale, rock forward. Exhale, we'll peel you back. We'll do that again. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, peel back. One more. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, slowly peel your hips back. Release your hands. Give them a little flick. Come back into tabletop all fours. Cat cow, inhale, peel your tail open, heart lifts up. You may also know this as happy cat. Exhale, tuck your tail round the spine and protract your shoulder blades. Inhale, ripple open. Exhale, tuck and curl. Shin is lasting to curl in. Inhale, ripple open. Exhale and round. Find a neutral spine. Allow your right knee to draw towards your right elbow, but keep your spine straight. Knee will come out to the side like a dog on a fire hydrant. Then press your heel towards the ceiling. Knee to tap the left knee. Reverse that leg comes back. Take it out to the side. Knee to elbow all the way back. One more each direction. Knee to elbow out to the side. Foot comes behind you. Lower it all the way down. Reverse. Foot to the sky. Internal rotation of the hip, dog on a fire hydrant, all the way back to meet. Again with the left side, knee to elbow, inhale takes it behind you, exhale close, inhale carry it back, exhale slip it out to the side, lower it all the way back down. One more of these, taking it out to the side, take it all the way behind you, knee comes down, release all the way back, round, back to meet the right. Take an inhale, peel your chest open. Exhale, tuck and round your spine. Inhale, find a long spine. Send your right leg long all the way behind you. Exhale, curl, knee to nose, tuck it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend, hold it there. 
lift your left hand like you're shaking someone's hand. Flip the palm, reach back, grab onto the inside or the outside, sorry, on the pinky blade of your foot. Kick your foot back, tuck your tail under and peel your chest open. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, release, extend the arm, the leg long. Exhale, draw your right knee to tap outside your right shoulder and step lightly outside your pinky finger. Start to draw some little hip circles. And it's like you're trying to use a spatula on a cake mixing bowl and you're trying to get all those edges of all the cake so don't leave any bit left behind and go the other way. And then come back into centre, both fingertips outside or framing your front foot. Inhale, peel your chest open, sink your hips. Exhale, peel back, flex the front toes and straighten any amount. Inhale, come forward. And you could use your two blocks here or have two books or anything to give you a little bit more space if you're tight in your hamstrings. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, peel back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, step that foot all the way back behind you. Inhale, the left leg will go long. Exhale, knee to nose, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Send your right arm long like you're shaking someone's hand. Bend the knee, flip the palm, reach for the pinky blade of your foot. Kick the foot back, tuck your tail, lift your chest. Both collarbones face forward. Take a full breath in, kick the foot a bit harder. Exhale, stay. Inhale, slowly release, extend. Exhale, right hand down, step your left foot outside your left pinky and start to do those beautiful hip circles. So you wanna explore lots of space and go nice and slow so there's no rush. And it's about finding a little bit mo or more mobility in the hip joint and go the other direction. So there's no right or wrong, it just feels good. When you come back through center, frame your front foot. Take an inhale, come onto your fingertips, chest opens. Exhale, slide your hips back, particularly your left hip crease. Flex the front toes. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, peel it back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, slide back. Inhale, come forward. And then step your left foot all the way back to meet the right. Bring your right knee to your right nose, or to your nose, not to your right nose. Cross it in front of the left and then take a little seat. Bring your right shin to the front of the mat or the front of the room. Flex the toes and then have your left shin the same as the outer edge of your mat or on the side wall of your room. Take your fingertips behind you. Press your right knee down. Don't let it lift, but lift the back knee. From there, lift the knee a little higher, carry it all the way over to the other side. Then ground down through your left knee, right knee lifts, mobilizing through the hip joints all the way through center, back up. Either stay here with your hands on the floor or take your hands in front of you. Squeeze, lift that knee when you can't lift it, the right knee lifts, come through center. Then press up, press your hips forward. Exhale, lower down. Come back through center, change it all the way to the other side. Press the hips forward, find the opening. Exhale, sit it all the way down. One more, adding on, come through center, make a straddle. Fold forwards from the hips, feet take pointing to the sky. Come back, bend the knees over to the left. Press up, press through the shins, keep the feet working. Come back through center, straddle the legs, lean forward. Come back through center, bend the knees, press the hips up one last time and then sit it all the way down. Sweep your left leg forward in front of the right, cross over, step back into a downward facing dog. So in your down dog, your arms and your hands press down and forward and you send your upper thigh bones up and back, drawing your belly button in and lifting the hip creases a little higher. Take a full breath in. And exhale, tippy toe all the way to the top of the mat. Feet will meet your hands in a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to and let your whole body get heavy. So you could shake your head left to right. 
Grab onto opposite elbows for a rag doll. And draw the skin down. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Squeeze your navel to your spine and see if there's a bit more space. One more breath in. And release the hands. Take them behind you, your hands to your ankles. Forearms will bind onto your calves. Draw them up as you fold a little deeper. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold. Release the bind. Inhale, press into your feet. Roll all the way up to stand. Arms reach, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. And Anjali Mudra. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Fingertips to your upper shin bones. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into a plank pose or front support. Stabilize through your fingers. Navel draws in. Take an inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lower your knees, your thighs, your chest through a tricep push up all the way down to your belly. Take your fingertips outside your mat or nice and wide. Like little cupcake hands, you're on your fingers and your elbows are high. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and draw them gently down your back. Press into your feet. Inhale, flowing cobra, back of the heart lifts. Head reaches up last. Exhale, flow all the way down, finding the articulation of your spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down. Keep your feet active, knees lift. Inhale. And exhale. Take your hands to your low ribs. Inhale, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Peel the hips all the way up and back. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Tiger curl, pause. Three-legged dog, send the leg a little bit higher. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger curl round. Inhale, three-legged dog, send it all the way back. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger curl, lightly step in between the hands. Come onto your fingertips, inhale, peel your chest open. Exhale, slide it back, pyramid pose, back heel stays high. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, slide it back. Inhale, ripple forward. Last one here, exhale, slide it back, pyramid pose. Draw your kneecaps up with your quads to really stay active and engaged. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, bend the front knee, a little bend in the back knee. Crescent lunge or a high lunge, roll all the way up. Get long through your spine. Take your thumbs into little fists. Press your hands out to the side. Send your back heel forward. Draw your hip bones up. Press your arms back and lean back. Take a full breath in. Go a little deeper. Exhale. Inhale, lift your chest to the sky. Exhale, pyramid pose. Fold. Jump your back foot in and lower the heel. Keep the feet parallel. Hands on blocks is a great choice. And just find that space. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, bend your front knee. Jump that back foot out and pivot the heel. Warrior two, inhale, come up. So that front knee is pressing out over the second and third toe. And the back heel is pressing down as well as the pinky blade of your foot. The leg is strong. Shoulders stack over your hips. And keep your chest spiraling to the side wall as you look forward. Go a little deeper with the legs. Take a breath in. Exhale, flip your palm and reverse. Inhale, extended side angle, forearm to thigh, left arm to sky. Or if you need more, take your hand inside your right foot and reach your arm up and overhead. If you need more here, heel toe your foot further back and find a little bit more space and really open up through that right inner thigh. Lean back, take a breath in. Really active, full breath out. Inhale, warrior two, come back to stand. Exhale, stay. Inhale, straighten front leg and arms reach up. Look to your back foot, turn it out. Exhale, high side lunge. So don't go too low to start. Keep pressing your right heel down and drawing it back into you. And then hands can come down, go a little deeper. Take your left hand flat in line with your heel and use your upper arm to press the knee out. 
Right hand to your inner thigh and draw the thigh outwards and back. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Look forward. Inhale, walk your hands forward inside of your right foot. Get nice and long and active through that back leg. Don't let it sink. Keep it strong. But if it's too much, lower down your knee. Then you could stay here or come down onto your forearms. You could also use blocks if the ground is too far away or books, whatever's available, and stay there. And take a moment, breathe. And your right knee is pressing into your shoulder. Don't let it wing out to the side and keep peeling your chest open. And you could stay here or take your hands out to the side, keep breathing. And your head might go down or you may reach your arms up, hover, peel your chest open and see if you can grab your hands behind your back. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Slowly release, hands come down. Lower the back knee, take an inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, slide your hips back for a half split. Now start to wiggle that foot forward. Come forward, 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 forward to your desired amount. Keep that back hip drawing forward, right hip crease pulling back. And you could be on blocks here underneath the hands if you need more space. If you have more room, slide that back foot back until you come into your full split. Keep it active. Draw your right hip back, front hip forward. Squeeze everything into the midline. And if you have the space there, lift your chest, lift your hip points. Maybe you reach up and interlace your hands and squeeze to the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. One more breath in. Full breath out, fold. So wherever you are, even if you're still a kneel, we're still folding our body over our leg from our hip joint, not from our spine. Take one more breath in. One breath out. Frame your front foot. Wherever you are, slide back to that half split. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Tiger curl, exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, three-legged dog, send it all the way back. Exhale, knee to nose. Three-legged dog, send it all the way back. Exhale, curl. Three-legged dog, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, step between your hands, come to the fingertips, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose, back heel stays high. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, slide it back. Inhale, come forward. Last one, exhale, peel it back. Pause for a moment, back heel high, quads lift out. Take an inhale, fill your chest. Inhale, fold a little deeper. Bend your front knee, bend the back knee, inhale, crescent lunge or high lunge, arms reach. Then take your thumbs into your fists, arms send out. Press the arms back and puff your chest. Lift your hip points up and lean back, breath in. Exhale, go a little deeper on the legs. Inhale, heart opens, chest reaches high. Exhale, fold back to your pyramid pose, back heel jumps in and lower down the heel. And again, you have blocks or, blo or books to place your hands on. Let your spine get a little longer, but keep the legs squeezing into the midline. Take one more breath in. And exhale, go and fold. Inhale, bend your back, oh, your front knee. Back leg jumps out and back. Pivot down your heel, so it's 30 degrees of that back leg. Warrior two, inhale, roll all the way up. So in your warrior two, lift your left hip bone away from your thigh. Keep your knee facing forward as that back leg is strong. So the slight sass of the hips towards that right front corner, but your chest from your navel rotates to face the side wall and then your gaze goes down your front hand. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, flip your palm and reverse. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm to thigh, right arm to the sky. And you could stay here, keeping it nice and active, or take your left hand inside your left foot, arm reaches overhead. And if there's more space, you'll toe that back foot out wider, but keep a vertical front shin. Don't let it come back. Squeeze. 
Press your shoulder into your knee and your knee into your shoulder. Make some traction. Take a full breath in. Exhale, stay. Inhale, warrior two, come back. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, front leg straightens, arms reach. Look to your back seat, turn it out. Exhale, skandasana or side lunge. Keep it high to start. Keep squeezing your legs into the center. Heels drag in underneath you and then go a little bit lower. Place your right palm in front of your right heel. Upper arm presses into your knee. Left hand to the inner thigh and draw your knee and your outer thigh up to the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Exhale, look forward. Low lunge, both hands inside your left foot. Keep that back leg lifted. Keep it nice and strong. Take a breath in. Exhale, come down to your forearms or onto blocks. So they might be up the higher setting. You may even stay on your fingertips or lower down your back knee. So coming to what feels right for you, but coming to something that's strong and makes you need to work a little bit without really having to stop breathing. Keep pressing your left knee into your shoulder. One more breath in. Option to stay here or arms can come out behind you. You could lower your head or peek forward, wrap the arms behind your back and go for a bind. If you have the bind, back leg is strong, chest reaches forward. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release any bind. Lower the back knee. Inhale, come to the fingertips. Exhale, slide the hips back. We're coming into our splits here, so start to walk that foot forward. Take a pause and decide here whether you need props or not. Then maybe you send the back leg back and the front leg forward until you come into your desired stretch. So rather than letting the hips go, squeeze that right hip forward. And you may come up higher, which may mean you need to get the blocks. So be okay with that. Yeah, so be okay with where you are. But we're going for good alignment to help us with our jumps, our splits, our stunting, our flyers lines, and just to feel good in our body and not uneven. Maybe you close down the eyes. Take a full breath in. And exhale, soften. One more breath in. And wherever you are, exhale, fold. And we slowly come up, slide the leg back to that half split. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, step it all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, we pull forward to your top of a push-up plank pose or front support. Exhale, half push-up, elbows in, triceps squeeze. Upward facing dog, find a back bend, active through your legs. Exhale, downward facing dog, peel it all the way up. Take an inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps outside, right pinky. And we come back into that lizard lunge we did earlier. So both hands are inside the right foot. A little bit of a challenge here. You could choose, you could either just look forward, send your leg forward and sit down. Or if you want more of a challenge, come back to that lizard lunge Arm like a little backpack, shoulder underneath the leg. Squeeze the elbows in, look forward, straighten that front leg and see if you can slide your foot all the way through. Yeah. Take your right foot, flex it really strong, place it above your left knee. Press the knee out and just take a little fold forward. So getting into that outer hip. Now you could stay here or bend your left knee and come up even higher. And the closer your sit bones come to your heel, the more intense it will be, or the further out, less intense. But try and keep your chest proud and long. Yep, so you might stay here. Otherwise, wrap your elbow, your left elbow around the sole of your foot, your right elbow around your knee. Interlace your fingers and give it a little squeeze. The left leg will come down. You can place it wherever is comfortable. Take your grip and place it around your foot and start to talk to your foot like a little telephone. Like, oh, hello. Throw your knee behind you and then send your leg long. Give it a little floss, knee comes back. And be really gentle here. Don't force anything. We're just going to where our range is today. Yeah. And you might stay there and be like, yep, that's cool. Otherwise, we're coming into a bow and arrow prep. So we'll take our left hand on top of the right foot towards the pinky toe. The right hand will come underneath like that lizard lunge and stack under you, make a little backpack. Yeah, so we create a little backpack. The right hand comes down 
and slowly any amount start to send your leg long and peel your chest open and you might look up or down. But try and keep that right sit bone down on the ground as much as you can. Mine is definitely lifting. Point your foot to make it look pretty. Take a breath in. To come out, slowly bend, bite down on your arm. And then release. Give yourself a little moment, a little side to side shake. Maybe you take a little forward fold. And then we roll over our feet, jump back to a plank pose, into your chaturanga or half push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, peel it all the way back. Inhale, left leg comes to the sky. Exhale, knee to right shoulder, step outside your pinky. So again, we're here in this lunge. So option here is to stay or maybe do that little backpack. And we'll do that step through forward. So you need to just step your foot through and sit down. Or get really strong through that front leg, press through the arm, slide the foot. So you can slide all the way through and sit down. Flex your left foot, place it on top of your right quad, just above the knee. Send the knee energetically down as you start to hold and hinge forward. And just breathe. You could stay there or bend your right knee, hands come behind you. Gently walk your hips to your heel. Chest is tall. Then you might be out here and leaning back. That's okay, but keep the spine long. Your right arm will wrap around the sole of your left foot. Left arm around the knee and squeeze your hands together. Then you could just rock a by baby, this leg here, or wrap it up like a burrito. You can choose. And you might stay there. Otherwise, your left hand comes under and holds onto your ankle like a Coke can. Oh, no, we got, sorry, I'm going to interlace the hands around the foot first. Do a little telephone. Then floss your leg up and back. Just being really gentle, not forcing anything at all. Then once you pull it back, right hand on top of the left foot, grabbing the pinky blade of your foot, left hand underneath. Try and nuzzle. I take about three times to get my leg as high as it wants to go on that particular day. And sometimes it's really high and sometimes it's not. Left hand comes down and then slowly start to extend the leg. Peel your chest open and take a big breath. And breath out. And try and make it active. Point your toes. Try and get that left sit bone down if it wants to behave. Mine doesn't. And then slowly bite the leg back down. Cross the ankles. And just take a little seat. Close down the eyes. And just allow yourself to be. Just feel that effect on the body, on the legs, the shift of energy and space. And slowly uncross the feet, plant the feet down to the mat. Arms will reach forward, tuck your tail and roll all the way down onto your back. Draw your right knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. And gently press into your feet, watch your bend left foot, shovel your hips over to the right, re-extend the left leg and then come into a little twist. Right arm out to the side, left leg comes across. Try and keep both shoulder blades down and flat on the ground, even if your knee's lifted, that's okay. And you could look straight up or you could look over to the right if that feels okay in your neck. And close the eyes and just let yourself slow down. One more breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, come back through center. Give your knee one last little squeeze and loving hug. And then we'll switch sides. So bend the both knees, left foot comes down, right knee into the chest. Press into your right foot, shuffle the hips to the left, send the leg long. Left arm comes out, guide your foot into the twist. Both shoulders stay flat. And let everything just kind of soften. No more holding or tension. Take one more breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Coming back through center. Both feet come down. Feet go wide, a little knock side to side. And draw your knees into your chest. 
flex your feet, grab onto the pinky blades of your feet and find a happy baby. The knees go wide, flat in your lower back and rock side to side. Good straighten one leg and then the other. And give your legs one last little squeeze. And we come into Shavasana, legs go nice and wide. Feet go out to the sides. Arms are wide away from the body with palms facing up. You may gently squeeze your shoulder blades together to hug the back of the heart space. And then close down the eyes. So at the end of every yoga class, we do this posture, Shavasana. And it's really, really important because it gives us a chance to stop and to pause and to actually feel, to notice what we are and what we're doing, to notice where we're forcing or maybe where we're even being lazy. It helps us to realize what it is that we really truly want so that we can be the best versions of ourselves so that we can help ourselves and help others. So we'll just take about 10 more breaths here. Take a deep breath in, full breath out. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes, a gentle rock of your head from left to right. Draw your wrists and your ankles, reach up and overhead and get nice and long. And draw your knees to your chest so that you can roll to one side and press your way up all the way to a comfortable seat. Let your spine be long. And then gently float your hands to your heart at prayer for a moment of gratitude that you have a body and it's healthy and you can do all of the things. Yoga, chia, dance, Take a breath in, open mouth, send it out, all the gratitude. Bow your head to your heart. Thank you so much. Together we say namaste.